Hey, good morning. Good Monday morning, fish heads. Jen Cravassi, Jekyll Bates. We're sitting here at the finishing desk, and who needs to talk about the work week when we got so many cool things to show you guys? This, we're going to start out with this five piece order. This five piece order is going to a friend of mine back in Maryland. Um, used to compete with him, Crabtown Bassmasters. This is your shout out. I sure do miss fishing with you guys. Um, had a, a fantastic season with them. And uh, boy, I sure do miss these guys. So, Dennis, this is your five piece. It's getting ready to get dressed and get out the door and head back to my home state of Maryland, my Maryland. And uh, just had a whole lot of fun doing that. So, Steve, Charlie, all you guys back at uh, Crabtown in the Annapolis area of Maryland, I hope you guys have a fantastic 2019 tournament season. This is going to stay fairly local here. Going out to my buddy Joe. And these, again, these just came off the clear coat rack, so they have not been dressed. This is a holographic foiled wart. And I did the, the foiling. And I love the way this thing shimmers. It's the underside. This is the Bright's Landing Craw. It is available in both holographic and standard pattern on the website www.jekyllbaits.com. The Mad Hatter Craw. Red, red, red this time of year, folks. Red will do the trick. That'll get the, get the bite done. One of my favorite patterns to do on shallow mid-depth. Now, one of my subscribers mentioned, and rightly so, um, that you do lose that red as you get a little bit further down in that water column. That is a fact, you do. Cool thing though is when you just have a two color fade like this, you have that, that contrast, still a good profile bait, and it's still, you can still differentiate, at least I believe the, the fish can, that, uh, that fin crawl segment pattern on that particular type of bait. This is in the Norfolk that Ozark pattern, red eyes, a little bit of splattering of yellow on the bottom in that orange, red, green fade. Do the last one here in the Hot Tuna 2, number 2. That hot pink, really, also a key color. Pretty much as, as good as the red. Just lots and lots, lots of really good customer orders coming out this week. Really excited to paint the rest of them. This is one of those old XR50, the original Excalibur, with the metal BB in it, it's the one tap. And a crappie pattern that's uh, gonna be going out to CJ here shortly. This was so much fun to paint. And it is going to be a winning pattern for sure. Back to the red, we've got a molten lava in a lipless with those glow black bug eyes. That does look like lava, doesn't it? That yellow orange deep red fade and a metallic purple just like exploding lava. And uh, I believe that's all we've got for you today. Thank you guys so much for checking out the channel. These are your pieces for the morning. I appreciate you guys stopping by. It's always good company. We'll see you guys on the next one. More spray sessions to come. See ya. Happy casting.